Hello lamp fans. Today I'm kind of working on a lamp that I bought, oh, probably about a year and a half ago. Uh, I think I paid $80 for this uh, Edward Miller lamp, um, 1890-ish. Uh, it's, um, I guess it would be a parlor lamp of some variety. Um, and when I got it, I, I got it with a shade. I think I paid $80, but the glass shade is spectacular. It's, it's ash, acid etched. And I'm using it on another lamp right now temporarily. But uh, I took a stab at working on this last year uh, maybe a year and a half, two years ago now. And uh, at some point, this thing had sat in water for a long period of time. So um, we have some actual holes in the bottom of the font. Now, I could definitely fix those, but it's kind of like whack-a-mole with those things. Uh, what'll happen is I can fix it now and then it might pop later, but I'm not using this lamp, but it makes a nice display lamp. Um, one thing though that had a problem is this uh, inner basket that fits inside this this nice font so this is how I kind of got it. I don't think I really did oh yeah no I think I did clean this up a little bit at the time but I tried to leave it as original finish as possible this piece down here was metal and it was rusty and this bottom piece um, it probably originally was a brass coating on it but it's been long gone but here's the, um, the inner basket piece so you can see it's corroded like I'm mean, gonna just put my finger through it so I, I reassembled it with that and it's really gross it was like actually so bad um, but it wouldn't stay together without it. It's an integral part because the, uh, there's a stud that runs up the bottom. Oops, sorry, stud that runs up the bottom. So anyhow, uh, at auction about a month ago, I bought a box of miscellaneous parts. Um, didn't have that, uh, this lamp in here. I just threw that in there, but it had a whole bunch of stuff in there. And I think I paid $15 for a box of parts. A lot of it is electrical stuff, but there was some oil lamp stuff in it and I pulled it out. But what was in there was one of these guys, and here's the exact same, exact same part, and it still has a lot of the original galvanized finish on it, a little bit of surface rust. I don't care about that. I'm going to put it together like that. Uh, it'll go inside, and uh, there's a finishing ring that goes on first, I should say, and then the font drops into it. So you won't see it, but at least I can now throw this in the garbage. Um, and it really didn't cost me, you know, really anything to fix it, maybe a dollar I attribute that one part for. But the rest of it's all there. You know, nice flame spreader, number two, everything works. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just keep my eyes peeled for one of these that are, um, you know, probably been butchered uh, or electrified where they cut down the, uh, the center draft tube and put a light bulb in it. And if I can get this font body separately, I should be able to just unsolder it and solder it on. So what I'll do is I'll just reassemble it, stick it on the shelf, and we'll wait for the next batch of parts to come along uh, to fix it. And, uh, you know, just one one thing at a time on some of these lamps. You just got to wait till you find the right parts. And, uh, they, you know, the, sometimes the harder you look, the harder they are to find. And then I wasn't even, didn't even see that in the picture on the auction, or that one, I should say, in the auction. But when I got it home, I, I looked at it and uh, I remembered, ah, oh, I have a lamp. And I had to search around for the lamp and I found it was on the shelf behind a bunch of other lamps, of course. And sure enough, it's going to fit like a dream. So anyway, so that's just a little quick little lamp thing that I did. Anyway, have yourselves a great day.